I did do a little bit of practice on it, like a couple stages. It took a bit of getting used to. Emeralda, legendary gym with magical power strong- oh, okay. It was the evil pirate scoundrel Bernardo who first recognized Emeralda's magic. And he set out to find the secret map that led to Emeralda's whereabouts. Meanwhile, a hero Havoc was living in peace and roaming the seas with a sidekick Tide, unaware of Bernardo's evil scheme. One day, the two came across a young maid washed up on the shore. Ma'am, are you okay? After a while, the girl opened her eyes. Oh, oh, my name is Bridget. This map is very important. You must protect it and keep it from Bernardo. Please help me. Don't worry, ma'am. You can count on us. The two took the map and hid it in a cave behind the cliffs. As the days went by, Bridget slowly recovered and three became best friends. That is until one of Bernardo's henchmen discovered them. Under the cover of night, he kidnapped Bridget and Tide and took them away to Bernardo's hideaway. It's up to Havoc to save them, because of course it is. Havoc to the rescue! I'm gonna turn that up a little bit. Alright, going to options. There's, there's no controller remapping and you won't even need it. You're gonna find out why. Cape Seelf. Everything's the same button. Like A is jump. You can attack in midair if you press A as long as you jump first. B is also jump and attack in midair. C is jump and attack in midair. You can also duck and do a roll. And you can jump on enemies. Every 100 gems, you'll get an extra life. And the treasure will help you, uh, get lives, too? So, try to collect as many as you can, of course. Oh, I hit jump and it didn't work. As far as the dynamite goes, as long as you run right by them, they can't hit you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the boost that I needed. I think it'd be a good idea to stockpile as many lives as I can in the early stages. Ah, damn. No, fine, I'll just go. I'll finish the stage. Pirate ship. <laughs> he just pushes it for like a half second and then gives up. Oh, it looks like your uh, gems reset every time you finish a level. So it was like, well over 90 when I finished the stage and now I'm back to zero. Well, that's kind of annoying. Well, at least getting the treasure can get you like a ton of uh, gems. Neato. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have hit the attack button in midair. That actually screwed me up. I 
keep thinking on that I'm jumping and using a sword, but no, I'm actually using like a karate kick. But it just feels weird that you can play this whole game with just the D-pad and one button. And it's designed for that. So they kept it pretty simple, even though it's not an easy game. Whoops, that was pretty much my only way to get up there, but oh well. I'll have to make do without it. That thing's gonna shoot, isn't it? Ooh, that was close. Get the meats. Oh, boss time. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, face me over here. Okay, make sure you're not too close when you do that. Give yourself plenty of space because you're going to turn around. Yeah, that jumping attack is the only way you can do damage to the boss. So far, so good. Can take like a handful of hits. Got him. Didn't take a hit either against that boss. Aw, yeah. Otarushin? Oh, look at the big feats on that one. Oh man, keep getting caught by that. That hitbox just extends so badly. Ooh, what we got here? Hey, look at that. That's a damn good haul. Okay, also notice that enemies do not respawn when you kill them. What? I could have swore I jumped on that. So I guess I'll have to use the jumping attack. Oh, come on! Fuck you! By the time I see them, I'm already caught. So I have to really take my time on this level. You only get 100 points for jumping on each enemy, even if you chain so many in a row. That's kind of lame. Thought you would at least get a multiplier after a while. What if I give you like these really tiny platforms? And spikes underneath them. You can manage, right? Oh, I seem to have done just fine. I don't think I wasn't concerned in the slightest. It's called S Tart. It's like, no, it's called Start. Get it right, video game. I'll fix it for you. 
Oh, I was facing the wrong way. Good thing none of us hit each other. Hmm. No secret. I wanted to see if there would be an invisible wall there. Labyrinth zone with arrows? Well, I don't think there's an oxygen meter. So, it's already leaps and... Excuse me? It's already an improvement over Labyrinth zone. It just doesn't have as good of the music. So like most uh, platformers that have speed, you really get punished if you go way too fast. So don't be doing that. Aha, uh -huh, joke's on you. I would have gone to full health anyway, so your hit towards me was wasted. How did that not work? Oh my god. Oh my god! That many hits just to kill a freaking shell? It just wanted to stay in the fight no matter what. You gotta respect the hustle. And it's always getting into your blind spot too. So good luck chaining many hits in a row. Oh, you have to do the kick to take him out of one hit. I see. Everyone wa loves water level. You, you sure about that? I'm sure somebody in the chat can give you quite a rebuttal immediately. But hey there, Rocker. Good to see you. Yeah, forget if you jump off an enemy, you can't do the kick. You can only do it from your jump. I bet it'll one-shot the shark, too. No, it actually... You need two of those to get rid of the shark. Everyone loves water levels. I'm starting to think Rocker might be being sarcastic. Everybody loves water levels. Shifts eyes aggressively. Ah, that's what I was waiting for. The meats. I would not be surprised if there is one person out there that loves water levels, unironically. Oh no! Oh wow, this has Mega Man 1 Syndrome. No hits done when it comes to spikes for you. Like, they're gonna get you and that's that. Oh, that was close. Alright, good. I got out of that problem. Now what? Oh, come on! No, 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 no. You mess up once and you're screwed. And sometimes you could just miss every platform on the way. No, I'm just redoing that. Fuck it. I don't care what anyone says. It, it, was, it involves like a very tricky process to get back. 
Or you could just nail it in one go, then you don't have to do all that BS. Alright, where are you gonna land? Right in the middle? Okay. Oh, come on, that's hardly fair. Okay, so don't do that. Okay, you can bounce off the bicep just to get to the other side. Well, I guess that works. Why'd I do that? Could have just gone for another hit there, but what the fuck? All right, where? Okay, putsy here. That's not too bad. I can blow bubble gum with the best of them. I guess don't even bother to attack him when he does the jump attack. Just get away. to play it safe. Are you done? Finally. Get him while he's small! Or not. Burning Hamlet, one. Oh god, what the frick? I'm gonna be chased by a giant fireball with a face. Or I can just do that. You didn't even have to hit that. Oh, I get off it early. That's why I couldn't use anything with the phone. Freaking pump. Oh! Wow, that still hit me somehow. Oh, that's a one hit kill! No, no! And there was no checkpoints either! What was up with the delay on that? Like, I was going as fast as I could, too, and I still died. I'm not doing this whole level again. So I don't think there's any checkpoints.
And now I got the speed boots. There we go, that helped me get those two lives back. One thing I don't like about this level is that that big fireball does have rubber banding. So when you're super fast, it catches up anyway. This renders all your gains for naught. Okay, I mean, the village is still on fire, but it's not so bad for me now. I just gotta deal with everything else. Instead of some Final Fantasy bomb chasing me. The door to my room starts to rattle a little bit now because I got the door closed and the window open. So of course like the little gusts, oh, you piece of shit, are actually moving the door constantly in and out. So it'll get annoying after a while I'm sure. What? I hit the attack button, why didn't it attack? That was weird. Oh god, that was close. So I don't... Are those fireballs constantly spawning or are they always there? And I was just resetting their movement pattern. Wait, I'm gonna check. There's probably a springboard here, is there? Yeah, there is. Oh, nice. That was a nice haul. <laughs> it rolls over you even if you jump on it? What sense does that make? Also, this is some Adventure Island 2 crap with that enemy. What's that all about? I'll take a little meat as a treat. It sounds like something a hardcore carnivore would say. Like, what do you want for a little snack? A uh, bacon? I mean, I like bacon that much, but not to have as a snack. That just seems a bit much. longer is this level? It's going quite a while. Oh nice, got the kick in in time. I didn't even know that enemy was there until it was right in front of me. Time? Oh 
Okay, don't jump on him when he does that. Oh, I got launched right into a bomb. Well, I'm definitely not beating him on this attempt. Unless I got real lucky. And that's not a way to get lucky. In fact, that's the opposite of luck. Why would I just wait there for him to do that? Oh hey there, Red. Good to see you. We're on to the second game of the stream, which is High Seas Havoc. I just tapped one pixel! And that was enough to, like, charge right into his wife beater. And the bombs do damage to you even without exploding. That's kind of dumb. Well, I guess I well, maybe it does make sense, but I don't have to like it. Wow, the exact frame, too. So I feel like you can get two hits on him right there. I think you kind of could here, too, but it's not worth it. I should just focus on dodging that attack and not get a free hit on him. Wow, he's still going. Ooh, that was close. I thought that was gonna get me. At the right spot. That got him. Oh, and I was one hit from death for a long time, too. Mount Chester? Oh, look. It's the Northern Lights. Go back to bed, Mother. That's just the Northern Lights. <laughs> Is there going to be another rolling rock? No. The boss may be really frustrated. Are I a Sigrun in a God of War 2018? That one made me royally upset for a while. Oh god. Baby birds. Oh wow! They just... That's their movement pattern, huh? They just keep spawning. Oh, the chalices are only worth 10. That's kind of lame. At least I got a fair amount of treasure here. 
Whoop. Nice. Oh, Boletta from a Superstar Saga? Yeah, that fight sucked. It's like, what if I just kept attacking you infinite times? It's like playing cops and robbers with your brother. I'm dead. Okay, so this is what I gotta deal with. It only moves like one square. And then it has to stop and eventually fall down. Well, that's an easy pattern to recognize, actually. So that's not too bad. Oh, the meat that I don't need. Oh, pfft. Well, I couldn't prepare for that in time. Are you kidding me? See, you cannot jump on the boulders. They're not even sharp, either. Oh boy, these birds don't stop until you at least get rid of them. This is a Donkey Kong Country gimmick they got right here. I'm just gonna make a break for it. That didn't work. That didn't work either. So that attempt earlier was literally a blind jump. A horrendous crime of gaming, if there ever was one, before microtransactions existed. Whoa, 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 whoa! Anyone see the Avatar, Avatar Last Airbender live-action show on Netflix? No, I did not see it. I don't think I even bothered to watch live-action anything. I know it won't have the same charm as the original. And I'm pretty sure a lot of it has to do with nostalgia. Which, you know, it's a hell of a drug. Well, fuck you then. Oh my Christ. Christ! And now I jump too high, and then sometimes I jump too low. There's just a lot of things that go wrong in this level. There's one hit and you're careening into the abyss. Ass! It's hard for me to prepare for what I can't see very well. Why does it look like I'm just pissing myself during this? Oh! There was a platform that was swinging, and I didn't know it was there until I jumped. Cool, thanks game. So just take a guess!
I don't want to take a guess. I just want to get there safely. Wait a minute, looks like there's some down there. Oh, that's probably just another route. Oh my god, we're gonna do this gimmick again. We just did this. Oh! For some reason, you don't have enough uh, forward momentum. Or verticality, rather. Which is the correct word. To get over there. You wanna go up or down? <laughs> Game, I don't appreciate the mixed signals you're giving me. I'm gonna try up. <laughs> waffle cones? Yo, I like waffle cones. I picked some up earlier this week. Like those sugar waffle cones? I mean, they're not true waffle cones, but they're good enough. And I picked up some, like, ice cream that actually had boba pearls in it. Never tried it yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, shoot. Now I can't even get that. Because I kicked the burb. Phineas and Ferb, I've never seen that either. Whoa, what the hell? We got arsonists in this level. Good, you walk off the edge. That's what you deserve. These rodents put the arson arson. Sure, I can catch them, but at that point, they'll just walk off the edge themselves. So, we will let them. Start throwing Greek fires at me. Is it about a guy who would turn into a monster whenever he got aroused? You just described, like, maybe 10% of Reddit. But anyway, what was the movie? Call Me Tonight? I don't think I've seen that either. In fact, I don't think I've ever heard of it. I think I should run. There we go. Ooh, checkpoint? I want a checkpoint. Oh, thank God that was there. Wants me to go down. Well, if you want me to go down, I'll gladly oblige! Okay, we'll try this way. This way would have been safer had I not jumped. What the hell? It's kind of rude. This guy thinks he's Patra from, like, Legend of Zelda 1. So you have to take out all the orbitals. That's a tedious fight. I guess I could have jumped. Maybe jumping would have worked. Oh god, what is this? Just 
go this way. Now some of them can actually go in random positions. So you gotta be prepared for which one. Oh, I can probably get another life here this way. I did. Well, as far as I'm concerned, not everyone's gonna like everything. And there are some few people that don't like anything. Why does this mountain need so many spikes, anyway? Like, where are they trying to keep out? Me? Oh, what the fuck? You have to walk to the edge to see if a platform is even there. Oh! What the hell? I'm supposed to hit this thing reliably then. You have to dodge so many burbs all at once. I guess for that phase, just wait for it to come to you. Missed. Oh, it's gonna be on this side. Oh, I tried to do the kick. And it didn't work. Because you had to kick the body. Hey, James. Welcome to the show. I just hate that my kick has a delay sometimes. Fuck off. So if you hit it, it continues its attack? As if it never happened? That's stupid. Nope. Do that one over. You know what? One hit is better than two. Like this boss. There's just too much unpredictability to it. And it moves so fast. Now at that time I did it too early. <gasps> yeah, I could have done without this fight. This attack is easy. And the rest of it is just... What do?
And sometimes you gotta predict if it's gonna go high or go low. And more often than not, I guess wrong. Did I finally get him? Finally. The Frozen Palace. There might have been some reasons to not like Rocko's Modern Life. I liked it. But I would imagine it wouldn't be for everyone. Okay, it's going in that direction, so I think jumping would be a bad idea. Oh! That's a cool mechanism. So it could freeze the water. Or thought. Just gotta watch the coil. I'm guessing live wire just getting close to the water is a bad idea. Didn't even know there was a spring there. Uh oh. You had to be picky about your cartoons? Well, how often did you get to watch cartoons as a kid? Like, how much TV time? That might be why. It's like, well, if I only get to watch TV that many hours in a day, I want it to at least be this show. Either that or you probably had more than, like, one channel that had cartoons, so... It had to be used wisely. So you cannot jump on these at all, I noticed. That killed me! Oh my god. I mean, I should have seen it coming, but... That doesn't mean I'm happy about it. first. What is up with these enemies there? They just teleport right out of thin air. And often, like, we're your two, so you're gonna get hit. Oh, I thought it was the entirety of the water that was dangerous. No, it's only where the electricity is, because that's how, uh, currents work. It's like, oh, you can stand in that water. That's perfectly fine. I don't know. That doesn't sound right. What do I keep missing? Thank you. Yeah, look, look at all this! It's like, you better be ready for them to arrive. Or are they just going to annihilate you from out of nowhere?
This again? Oh, now look where it's two. It's right next to the live wire. So I have to get in and out. Like, every couple seconds so I don't get electrocuted. Guess I could've just rolled under it. Yeah, you could just roll under electrified water. What a world. Video games. They don't always make sense. And sometimes they don't make sense in your favor. So you might as well just roll with the punches. Oh god, what is this? What is this? And the game doesn't chug at all with like over a dozen enemies on screen at once. Oh my fucking Christ. Why is there have to be so many of them? Get me out of here. Oy. Doug, I remember Doug. Doug's a pretty good show. Hey, you gonna give me an enemy that I can get up there? Not you. You're not of use to me. Freaking tiger with a steak knife. What can you hope to accomplish? Trying to carve me like a ham? The game is kind enough to give me a lot of chests with extra lives in them, so I feel it's kind of suspicious. What the hell is a seeing eye from Castlevania doing here? Or that's no, not seeing eye, peeping eye. Okay, that time the electricity hit me. Oh, these goons again? They don't seem to get you as long as you don't jump and keep moving. So that's neat, I guess. Uh oh. That's a very hard to predict enemy pattern. They knew what they did when they created a video game that gives you a lot of chances for extra lives. Oh shit. Thank you for the boost. Okay. I hit the jump button video game. Don't make me live in your world of lies. The jump kick is just way too unreliable to get right. Like this, that would be a much better attack if it was just responsive more. And it's kind of dropping the ball there. You know what? I'm just going to take the death. I'm right next to a checkpoint anyway, so it's fine.
I wonder how much more there is to this game. Are you kidding me? It had just enough hit stone stun to hit me again. It ran off, so I hope it didn't get all its health back. Oh god, now there's more of them. Sometimes two in the same spot. And worst case scenario, maybe three. Hot dogs? That sounds about good. I still got the rest of my uh, tenders and uh, Singapore cashew noodles to finish. Wow, I just couldn't nail the jump anymore. Oh god, that thing's here. Just let them go. I wasn't ready! Wow! As soon as the fight starts, I get hit. What?! Did they just seriously spawn me? Right next to enemies that are already en route to me. What were they thinking with that? There is brazenness in video games, and there is brazenness. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh, it did that again. Okay. And it's on all sides too. Keep getting hit by the caltrops. Oh, well, that time it was everywhere. Wait, did it continue its attack with the same frames of animation without a reset? Yeah, it just continued where it left off. <laughs> that is just evil. Alright, I'm dropping the save state here so I don't get BS by that attack again. Frustrated into the goddamn word for it! This is bullshit! What? I got in the seam and it still hit me. That time I hit the jump too late. Wow, what is the hitbox on those caltrops? Strays in Canada? You mean like stray animals? I would imagine that anywhere that there's animals, there's gonna be strays.
Oh, I shouldn't have done the kick. Would have been safe then. Well, about time you surrendered, even though you kicked my ass a few times. Mount Bernardo. I need this. I did. Oh! There are bats in this game, too. I should have known this would happen as soon as we arrived in a cave. I had to jump there, so you put an enemy in a spot I cannot avoid anything. Oh, you hid that in the foreground. That's evil. My favorite Pokemon was Alakazam, but now I feel it's Hypno. No, 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 no. Not letting you get away with that. Not when I haven't found a checkpoint in the level. Oh, that one's got a spike helmet. Why did I get a spike helmet? Come on, man. I work hard for this crew of gang members. Oh, good, you can actually still stand on that uh, joint. Oh my god. Um <laughs> my god. This game has like a lot of charm. But it has like a lot more frustrating moments than it has non-frustrating moments. And that was just exhibit W right there. The hits just keep on piling up. In the, uh, in the bullshit anomics. Okay, well, that one can't hurt me as long as- oh, that one could. Let's get them to the other side. I gotta get in the habit of doing my, uh, jump kick as I make these jumps. What the hell? Oh? I think I'm supposed to jump on that ant. And the game is just gonna outright expect me to know that. Oh my Christ Almighty. How did that not hit me? It looked like it passed through my body. It just looks like a game that should be easy, but it's not. 
Hey there, William. Good to see you. We're playing High Seas Havoc for the Genesis. And it is wreaking havoc on my will to live. It looks like a wonderful game. But the level design is very questionable. Like, something tells me... They probably don't like video games. Or just love to see kids suffer playing them. Because how would you think to just use ants as a moving platform? What, there was a treasure chest there? I didn't know that. Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Oh, my water's on the other side of the coffee table. Well, it's a good thing I got some free beer earlier today. The bad news is it's an IPA, so... <laughs> and I'm not a fan of those. I didn't pick the beer, by the way. It just... Happen to be. These innocent looking stalactites are instant kill. <sighs> Go fuck yourself. And the game is like, he's gonna hit the jump button once, isn't he? gonna get him. So either this is the last level, or this is the second to last world. Especially if we're running into their insignia everywhere. Oh my god, I keep forgetting those are the platforms that'll drop when you land on them. They expect me to get ready for anything! At a moment's notice! Just go, get the checkpoint. Jump right into the fireball. That better be meat there. <laughs> easy come, easy go. They knew what they did, putting the big meat right there. Especially after getting the little meat not that long ago. That's just the ga game dev's way of saying, Yeah, we kinda screwed up. <laughs> if you take this complimentary... Fuck off. This complimentary meat, will you forgive us and keep playing? They expect you to do all that in one go, too. What? I hit Duck! How did that not protect me from the shot? Why can't I just do, like, a standing kick? <laughs> Oh, 
this is me like getting through this without save states. If I didn't have access to save states, that would have been my face right there. Toasty! <laughs> Hello. Okay, well at least that attack can be avoided. Debris! You cannot jump on the rocks to break them, okay. This is gonna do something, I wonder what it is. Oh. Oh. This is such a Mega Man X8 pattern and I was ducking, why didn't I roll? Why does that attack last so long, too? What a goofy ass laugh. Oh my. I'm about ready to quit this game in a minute. This is just unbearable to have to deal with so much attacks like that that are nearly impossible to avoid. Oh yeah, that one goes all the way. I see. Now what? Oh my god. It launches all the rocks it has one at a time. I don't even think save scumming would help me there, because I have to deal with the stalactites, and they can just be anywhere. And they don't always go to the where you are. <laughs> now it just repeats the pattern on this side. And now you gotta do it all again. A die has six eyes. But a die has dice has twenty one faces? I thought it would have twenty faces. I could be wrong, though. 
So I think of a D20. There's something with one red angry face right now, and it's definitely me. But you guys, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this game. This boss is way too hard on normal. Four hits in a row. Four. That was like the worst luck with the stalactites. We're gonna have a bad day to East game there. I mean, we already had played Werewolf. So it's already too late to actually find one that's bad. At least you can hit him there. And that wasn't the last hit, either. They don't track MBJK. I know they don't track. I'm just not predicting the pattern correctly. All I know is you jump over the first one, but not the second one. And then the rest of it is just a blur. Like, I can get through this attack fine. I think you have to jump over the first one. Maybe only... What the second one would go over me? So I feel like there's some tracking. Uh-oh, this pattern's different. Where's it gonna start from? That way. That's... Now a lot of them just went to the bottom because I stayed ducking. Because <sighs> you bounce so much, you can't even get a counter hit on them during this. 
If you didn't flinch so much, you would have had a better chance. I wasn't paying attention, I didn't get to hit him the first time. Not until it was too late. There must be like a strat to this that I'm just... It's just going completely over my head. Oh! When they're teleporting away, they still have a hurt box. I have an idea when it comes to the rock throw. I might only get hit once. What if I duck right next to him? Because a lot of them should just go right over me. And if they all like just go directly to where I am, then I know it as tracking. Yep, they track. They track. Yeah, this this fight can fuck right off. Do it all again. So I think if you jump first for the rock attack, and that'll give you a slight advantage. Okay, it seems to be the same rock formation depending on what side the boss is on. Oh, I, I was in the air too long. Life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Hope that doesn't throw me off my game. Okay, I know there's going to be one right under me. I can see it right there.
Oh. Almost messed up there. Ah, oh, shit. It knew I was going to jump before I even committed to it. I don't know how many hits I need. If I knew I was like, like one hit away from winning, I'd just go for it. Sadly, I don't know, so I can't do it. All right, fuck it, I'm safe stating here. I'm taking the dishonorable victory. something else that this is not even the last level. Ah, oh, should have moved in on this. That was the last hit there. And the thing is, I'm still vulnerable after I hit him, so... <laughs> Once again, I have to wait a long time to hit him again. What level is this? This is like, a um, Mount... Ball something. The, the name of the gang. Stage 2. Not stage 2 of the whole game, that would be ridiculous. Doesn't tell you what stage number as a whole this is. Fuck off. Fuck you! And that time he just predicted ahead of time. No, no, I did a bad save there. This is level 12. There's another level? That wasn't even the last boss! What the fuck? How was that not the last boss? It's like, oh, the guy that's able to channel so much psychic energy constantly and have so many iframes? Oh, that's just my uh, lieutenant. I'm the main guy. I have gun. That's all I need. And why does this look like a repeat of level 2? Only it's an airship. Okay, it's not fully a repeat of Area 2, but it looked close. Jump on that? No! What 
What the hell? Tell me to go left. You sure? Maybe in here? Oh, maybe I have to... You know, I'll just take the death. I'll be at full health. Maybe drop down in the left? Nope. Go left. Why would I go all the way to the right to be told to go left? Oh, wait a minute. Ah, you can jump on the boxes, too. Oh, except for that one for some stupid reason. What reason? We made it up! <laughs> Just trust us. We know what we're doing. This will be insane if somehow the last boss is easier than the previous one. I will lose my damn mind. And there are some video games where that's happened before. Oh, Mega Man 3 has that. get to the next checkpoint or the next set of meats. No! I'm not doing all that again. Oh my Christ. Jump right into it. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a bombless pit there. Cool. Secure your cargo better, villains. And how are the boxes somehow miraculously in my jumping path constantly? It's like it's by design, and I don't like it. Maybe this is the real Havoc. Oh, checkpoint there. Thank god, that's there. Thank you. Oh, don't like that you're here. Oh, that was a lucky bounce. That was a lucky meets.
Oh my god. They made the platform small enough so that if you get hit once, you're sent to the your death. You gotta love it. Man, video games back in the day were really all up in the guts of having large knockback and having enemies right near pits. Like that, see? It's like clockwork. What? I jumped on that. Just jump right off and hope for the best. I'm not looking for treasure, I'm looking for life. Oh, it's just you again. Only you can fly. <laughs> we got him! Lulled him into a false sense of security. I had one more flaming rock. <laughs> I did it again. He keeps falling for it. Oh, yeah, now they just converged. Oh, now he's got sword lightning. to really get in on them openings. Send the rocks again! And the long recovery makes it even worse. We got each other there. You know, I'm just rewinding that, fuck it. No honor. What do you mean there's another form? Now he's made out of gold! Summon the bigger rocks! This might be unwinnable in this pattern. Oh! Wow, we could go even that way, you're fucked. Okay, I found the opening. What? I had to curve it at the last second. Oh, it's a Gemini laser now. That doesn't go all the way. Oh, it kind of tracks, too. Oh my god, every time I stop, it's actually going to a new spot that kills me instantly. you a long time. Oh, and that time it messed things up. 
How do you deal with that? You don't. You just die. What do you mean I was gonna do it again? I'm about ready to quit this game. I know I said it already, but now I actually mean it. Three of those. Three of those tracking... Gemini laser knockoffs that you get from Wish.com in the anthrax department on top of it. And you can't take advantage of them. There's no opening. As soon as the other lightning is gone, you're in the path of the second one. It's impossible. It's like, I can devise a pattern to avoid the lightning. The problem is when I do it, like, one frame too early and it changes the whole movement. To the point it's right under me and there's nothing I can do. So the margin of error might be one pixel, and that's that. See? I did close to the same thing I did before in that time. It curved earlier. I mean, this kind of works, too, as long as it doesn't fuck up. Like that. Just how many times does he do this attack in a row? Three times. Maybe four. Just to be even more sadistic. Wow, it just... It's no use! Oh man, the cringe. What do you mean by cringe? What do you mean by that? I'm confused. God's dirty! I can't hit this thing! Won't you die! Oh, now it changed patterns. It feels kinda easier to hit the boss when he's on the left side and the rocks are falling the same way. So I guess there's some silver lining there. Dodging that attack is annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna save Scum. I don't give a fuck. I stopped giving a fuck a long time ago. I was gonna switch sides too, so I'd be ready. Here we go again. I feel like that wolf should have been the last boss, honestly.
I think it had more potential to be the last boss. But you could understand why this one is the last boss, given that it's the captain. Please tell me you don't have a third form. Okay, good. And then he breaks his neck on a rock. The end. Ass! And then they suffocate in the uh, Emeralda bubble. You know what? I, I'd be okay if they did. And now for loop two. <laughs> Imagine if there was a loop two and it was mandatory to do. The end. So that's how you see Havoc for the Sega Genesis. Jesus Christ, they... They must have got the wrong Data East squad to develop this game. It must have been the same team that did Werewolf the Last Warrior, because holy shit, this was just brutal for all the wrong reasons. Like, not being able to take that many hits and have not that many iframes is one thing. Having only one dedicated attack to hitting bosses requiring you to jump to do it and not always be responsive. That's another thing. The massive knockback that 9 times out of 10 sends you careening into a pit is a whole other matter. And it's a game that gives you a lot of lives, because they know what they did. If it was just like an adequate amount of lives, hardly anyone would be able to get through it as a kid. And this is just a lackluster ending, like... Is the stone even talking to them? We don't know. They're just staring at it. Like, what do they do with it? Don't know. It just has more questions than answers. I don't think this is a poor man's Sonic, because at least Sonic gives you more than enough chances to stay in it. Oh, okay, we just send it off. And then it just cuts to the title screen again.